Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we have a special guest. Her name is Michelle. It is Monkey's mother. And she's going to tell us a couple paranormal stories that I think you might be interested in. And these are true stories. So without any further ado, here's Michelle. Hi, I'm Monkey's mom. I got a story to tell. We've been having a few things happen in this house since I moved in. And uh, the other night, I was sound asleep in bed, and somebody woke me up. And there was a lady standing there, and she had gray, graying kind of go yellow hair. It was short. I could see her face as plain as day. And she never spoke a word. And she was there, and then she disappeared. And that's as simple as it was. But I have seen these people all my life. I don't get frightened and they don't scare me and they don't try to hurt me. But they never say anything. They don't warn me or tell me anything. So I don't know why they come. But they come and they go just as quickly. How many times has that happened? In my lifetime? No, just here. In this house? Yes. Well, I think I've only seen one person, but we've had a lot of noise and we've had things that sound like they're falling, but there's nothing that's falling. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm going to see anybody else or not, but uh, there's something going on here and it's, it's strange and it's just happened since my husband died. Have you seen that woman, how many times have you seen that woman in your room? Just the once so far. Just the once? Just the once so far. And she woke you up? She woke me up. I, I, I've been having strange things happen. And uh, uh, one thing that does happen quite often is I'll hear Laura calling me. And she'll say, Mom, Mom, but Laura will be sound asleep in the other room. And I'll be asleep in my room, and I will hear her calling me, but there's nobody there, and she's asleep. So you tell me about that. <laughs> so have, have this woman is no one you have seen before it, in life? No. She looks familiar, but I can't put a name to her. I don't know who she is. Now, is it the same woman you've seen in your house? No, no. A different woman? This, the, the one I saw at my house, the, one ho the house I'm selling now, I never see the complete person. It's like she doesn't have enough energy to really come clear. She just looks like, like a ball of fuzz. I can see her outline, and I can tell it's a woman because she's got a long dress on, and she must be in the... I would say early 1900s, late 1800s. And she has a hat. She wears a hat that comes down on her neck and it has a peak on it and it ties under her chin. I can see that very clearly, but I can't see her face. And she just, every night at 8 o'clock, she walks by my bedroom. Every night. She walks by my bedroom and walks into the next room through the wall. So the woman you see here is a different lady? Yeah, she's from this century. From not this from century? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks, uh, she looks to be about 60 years old. And she didn't say anything? She just looked at you? She smiled at me. Oh, she smiled at you? She smiled at me. I don't know why. Uh, she didn't say anything. She didn't tell me anything. So I don't know why she came to visit. And it wasn't scary? No, they no none of them scare me. None of them. They just feel more like more comfortable than anything. Like you, yeah. You don't feel uneasy or no, anything? no, no. I don't, and I feel they're here for a reason. Right. But they won't tell me what, and I can't figure it out. Wow. Now, when you had your motel on Daytona Beach, did uh, did you see anyone there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I had a little boy that used to visit me 
he wore red trunks and he, he was blonde and he was about four years old four or five years old and I would be cleaning a room and I'd turn around and there he would be and nobody else ever saw him but me and um, I saw him three or four times different times but I was always alone and I was always cleaning one of the rooms when he appeared now these these um, these entities that you see do they um do do you feel like they know that that you're seeing them that maybe they're trying to to communicate yeah, with you? Yeah, yeah. I think they know that they're, I'm seeing them because I talk to them. The little boy I used to talk to all the time and ask him questions and that, and he would just smile at me. He'd never answer any questions, and then he would be gone. So he he knew you were there as well. Yeah, yeah. So they feel comfortable around you. Oh yeah, they must. Wow. And so the the woman here happened in, in your bedroom here in this house? It was in your bedroom where you seen her? Yeah, yeah. Was she in front of you or? She was, it's kind of strange because the, the bed is against the wall. And she appeared to be between the bed and the window, but there's hardly any space there, so I don't know how she did it. Hmm. But there she was. Uh, she had a problem. She was putting makeup on her face, but it was flaking off as she was putting it on her face, and she was making, it was falling onto the bed, and I said to her, you're making a mess. What are you doing? And she just smiled at me, kept putting the makeup on, and uh, didn't make her look any better. She had very bad skin. It was a strange experience. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So you you've kind of been been seeing seeing spirits all your life. All my life, I started seeing them. Um, well, what happened was my mother. This this ability to see people had comes from my mother, and she would before my sister and I had kids, she would work the Ouija board, and she would make her Ouija board up out of pieces of paper and a wine glass, and she could make that wine glass dance. It was unbelievable to see her work it, and you would get. Um, and we had a ghost in our house. Her name was Olga, and she was from another century. And she'd walk around the house, you'd see her quite often. And uh, she was looking for something uh, because she'd carry a lantern. And she would walk through the house looking for things. And uh, Mom believed that she must have been buried on that property or or something happened in that property but the house wasn't old enough for Olga to have lived in it because the house was born or was uh, built in 45 and this entity my mother said seemed to have come from um, the 1800s so so uh, there could have been something there on that yeah. land before, maybe yes, a house there, before, or something. Yeah, something or, could, or she could have been buried there. Or she could I have think a lot of these people, their graves are disturbed, and therefore they come up looking for another place to stay, to rest. Uh, that's what I believe. And um, uh, it is not a good thing to disturb the dead. Right. It really isn't. Right. Yeah, that's interesting that you can see them, but they, they don't, they don't speak. But nope. it's good that, that you know you're comfortable around them, and they must feel comfortable around you as well. Yeah, yeah. they must. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time, Michelle. We really appreciate it. And anytime you want to share some stories with us, you're more than welcome. Oh well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.